what is going on guys it's windy as crap out here today i apologize for that but uh today i'm going to continue to work on this big uh open area this carpet grass out here um i've put the rgs on it a month or two ago and uh i think it's already doing a little better than it did last year it didn't seem to uh respond to uh iron or anything i put on it last year uh, the soil test came back the ph was a little off so i'm assuming that we're we're locked up uh with the iron in there and so i decided to run the experiment instead of uh adjusting the ph just uh run the rgs and see if uh if that would open it up a little bit i've been waiting on the green up but today i'm gonna go ahead and fertilize it and i'm gonna put air aid on it i'm gonna show you a little close up on the grass real quick starting to fill in we got this little crusty layer on it but it's some uh good black stuff under there so, and it's, it's moist it's real damp out here i'm hoping that the uh air eight will kind of open us up and make it perk a little better i, th I think that uh little clip and thatch layer deal will wear off pretty quick but i'm gonna show you the air eight i'm gonna show you i'm gonna go out with a liquid fertilizer it's got a lot of uh miners in it i'm gonna show you what we're gonna do all right, came up here out of the wind, but now the light's weird. But <laughs> anyway, uh, we got the air eight here, and uh, the air eight goes out at uh, six to nine ounces a gallon, I think, a, a, a acre. I mean, geez, a per thousand square feet. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and mix an acre load here because because we definitely have at least that much to cover. So uh, back to my handy mathematical board here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna round up. We're gonna say there's 44,000 square feet. Uh, really, you could do 43.5 if you want to be precise. But uh, times a six ounce application rate. So we're gonna need 264 ounces of air eight for a gallon. It's 128 ounces in a gallon. So we're gonna need a lot of air eight. Um, go go out with this. Uh, liquid fertilizer i've been using this a little bit in different uh uh ratios but this is a 1088 which i think will be pretty safe for uh this uh this carpet grass out here i i, I don't know hardly anything about carpet grass but i know it's real sensitive to herbicides and it's probably going to be real sensitive to nitrogen as well but this uh i want to use this because it, it it's got the good uh it's got the good ammoniacal nitrogen in it the uh the plant available uh potassium it's going to go in quick and it's got uh just kitchen sink miners it's got all the miners in it uh, including iron uh and molybdenum i don't know what that does but it sounds important but uh the fertilizer here is uh is real concentrated and it only goes out at a quart per acre so that's a good uh economical fertilizer for you um but We'll get to it, man. We're gonna spray this stuff down. I'm gonna keep you updated on, on how it works out. Uh, so, so far, uh, pre-emergent in the early uh, spring, the RGS application in the spring, and now we're gonna go on down with a little, little liquid magic, some fertilizer and some aerate. All right, I'll keep you posted. The directions say when you're tank mixing to go put the aerate in first. Then your well water, aerate, then you're looking for a while. Aerate works a ton better when you get it in the tank, not on the tank. Just a helpful hint. I'm letting that mix in the tank a little bit before I get started, but uh, whenever you're combining two things, if you're not sure how they're going to get along together, it's a good idea to do a jar test. And all that means is just get you a, a beaker like this one here and... And... Uh, pour you a little stuff in it of each one and some water and mix them together and see how they react to one another. Um, I've only had one thing that uh, the RGS didn't seem to get along with and it was a, a fertilizer with a lot of iron in it. I don't, I, I might have uh, put them, I put them in my backpack sprayer and I think I might have put them in backwards. I don't know if that made a difference or not, but the uh, directions from Green County said, uh, put your uh, humic stuff in first then go with whatever you're gonna add to it. But uh, you can jar test if you're not sure. All 
right, guys, I got that all sprayed up. But a uh, little bit about the air aid. The way it, uh, my understanding is how it works, is uh, it's got the uh, potassium hydroxide in it. And uh, what it'll do is when potassium hydroxide hits the soil, it's going to want to go south. It's going to want to drive down in the ground. So it's going to take those little... Uh, those little microscopic pieces of that linardite in that uh, in that uh, humic acid, and it's going to drive it down in the ground and leave little little porous holes for uh, roots to follow and and uh, in the air and water to get in. That's just a little bit about what I figured out about Air Eight so far, and we're gonna do some things to this uh, spot out here and uh, keep it monitored, and I'll, I'll keep y'all posted. Hopefully, we'll make it green and pretty and get this, this grass growing. I'd love to blow it up and just plant Bermuda grass out there, but I don't think that's on the list of options. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. So uh, hit that like button, subscribe, give me any comments. Uh, I like to know what you're thinking and what, what you're out there doing. And as always, I, I appreciate you watching.